Robbie P.I., Paranormal Investigator. Hello and welcome to another long-awaited edition of Robbie P.I., Paranormal I'm your host, Robbie, and with me always is... J Jaden? Yeah? What do you want? <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. So... I'm trying a new thing. I'm trying a new thing. Alright. Yeah. So... Today we're going to be talking about the Stanley Hotel. It's a famous haunted hotel full of ghosts and spooky things. I'm not really boring, get up please. Right? So anyway, Stanley Hotel is this famous haunted hotel. It's so famous, it's been featured in a movie called The Shining. I'm sure you've heard about it. Um, there's places in there where people see ghosts in their closets down the hallways. It's very well known as a spooky place. So what we did is we got somebody who went there and she's going to tell us all about her experience. She goes by the name of Rita. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. <laughs> and by the way, her name is not pronounced Rita, it's Rita. What? What? What happened? Oh, I didn't like that video. Oh, that was just a fade. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go <laughs> and talk to Rita now. Yeah. About her experience at the haunted and famous Stanley Hotel. I'm here with uh, Professor Buttersmith. And uh, here you knew about uh, Stanley Hotel? No. I actually don't know anything about that. The haunted hotel that's known for the movie The Shining? Oh, yes, yes, the Stanley Hotel, yes, sir. I uh, have a high degree of confidence that it's in Colorado. That's all you know about the Stanley Hotel? I believe so, yes. So, what do you know about the Stanley Hotel? Uh, basically nothing. Zero. Nada. Zilch. <laughs> so, nothing? <laughs> so, uh, the Stanley Hotel, the haunted, famous Stanley Hotel, what do you know of it? Oh, you know, Mr. Stanley tipped me up a shilling once. Excuse me, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's, it's right with... Yeah, I, I was sweeping outside, and he ticked me off a shilling for because he said I was doing such a good job. He ticked off a shilling frog? Well, you, you might say that. I don't know what he does on his free time or what not, but I just know that I like to have a bite in my tummy that <laughs> Stanley Hotel, what do you know? I don't know anything about that. Yeah, the Stanley Hotel, very scary. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, I've seen the murder unicorns there. It's very scary. Oh, the murder unicorns are very, very scary. The murder unicorns killed the last three people that they brought to the Stanley Hotel. I heard of them and they make me pee just a bit. <laughs> I saw it. It was just a bit. I could go later. I did not see that. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> That's my wife! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Robbie Piana here with Rita. You were at the Stanley Hotel, the famous scary hotel. <laughs> uh, can you tell me about that experience? It was scary. Was it really? Yeah, I didn't go to sleep all night until the sun came up because the wind was howling in the shutters. And because of the ghost? And the ghost. <coughs> but it's a helpful ghost. One ghost? There's only one ghost? There's a helpful ghost that unpacks your bag if you get the right room. Were you there? No. But Mom told me all about it. <laughs> I didn't have that room. My bag was not in there. Oh. Uh, you sent me some pictures from there. I did. Uh, you want to dig those out for me, Jane? Sure. All right. So she showed me some just random pictures. Like this one was, yeah. you know, the stairs there. You can eat me this one. Nope. nope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, you can have this one. I want that. And here's another one. You know, so just the chairs. 
Remember taking me these taking these pictures? And the light at the end of the hallway. Yeah. Yeah, there's a light at the end of the sunny. It's like the shiny. We are not putting on a comedy show. Here, you know, it's kind of a scary bathroom. It's uh, you can see you in the background there. You know, it's a little creepy. Here's a. I'm looking at that. Stop. Here's a painting. It's pretty creepy. I think it's a photo. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's definitely a photo. Wait, you got to see, it. see, it looks like you're uh, looking at where your shoulder there. There was something yeah. maybe behind you. Yeah. You see that? Okay. There is a there is something. It looks like a ghost. Yes. <coughs> I analyzed it and made it a little bigger. And as you can see, yeah. there was something there. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. That is really creepy. However, you can see a lot of pixelation around the back side there. I think it's fake. I want to look at it. I want to look at it. And then there's this one of your bedroom. You ever taken some of the bedroom? Yeah. There's one. There's some hands there when I analyze it a little further. That is really cute because I was on the fourth floor, which is actually the most haunted floor in the hotel. But it could just be somebody scaling the wall, maybe a cleaner. There was nobody. There was. It was like a straight drop down. Are you saying they never clean the windows? Yeah, I can totally tell that's fake. But still, it will really creep me out. Well, I think she's right. Maybe it wasn't the wind. Maybe it was hands clawing at the window. And then there's this one with a... Uh, there was something over your head there. A little blurry. Probably didn't see it at first. That could just be like a lens flare. Maybe something dirty on the screen. Well, you know, I did hear that this closet that I'm standing in front of was haunted. This closet here? Yeah. Okay. And people go in that, if women stand in that yeah. closet, then a ghost will play with their hair. And that actually looks like a ghost is coming at my hair. Is there anything? I mean, it could or be, but the pictures ah! it, it just looks uh, like it could just be dirt on the flat lens or something. Is it, no. Yeah, dirt. That's and there was this one. Yeah. You took a picture of some mirrors, and it kind of looks like there's something over your shoulder. Let me see. A little something. That just so looks like a weird portrait. I analyzed that and blew it. <laughs> what the hell? It blew it up, and it says, "Hello, Rita." I'm a unicorn. I'm a killer unit. <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> There's this one where you were holding a little something. And this one actually concerns me a little because that actually looks like it could be something there. But I blew it up more and. There's something there, but I can't see it. again, could be anything. <laughs> did the, did they see and then there's this one. Yeah. I think this is my most realistic oh, chance to have a ghost. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see you can someone see the, holding that. You can see the scare on her face, and that ghost. Totally looks like no, it could no, be no, something. No, no, no. I was Someone's holding the ghost. Someone's holding the ghost. What are you talking about? Oh, see that hand? Yeah. Face? Well, the hand no, could yeah. just be a figment of the camera. No, that's not a figment of the camera. Because we don't know what that is. That's not a figment did you of the blow, camera. Did you blow it up a little? I did not blow it up a little. <laughs> um, well, you should have. Then we could be clearer what it was. Yeah. It's a ghost. Is what it, it's what it is. Clearly, I was afraid because look at my face. I thought it was a ghost. Do you remember that picture? I do. do you I heard you went on a ghost hunt. Uh, there was yeah, a me. ghost behind me. Yes. That's not part of And me. also, this all right me. here, this is not part of their face and also not part of their glasses. That's yeah. Just, that's it's all a ghost. I don't think that is. Yeah, it's here, it's clearly you know not part is. of the face and not part of glasses, she said. No, it is. Is. I mean, it's pretty creepy. I did also hear children running up and down the hallway at a late hour. Yeah, I, huh. yeah, I can't imagine what it would sound like to hear children running around late at night while you're creepy. sitting down. Very creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would let them do that? That is haunted. Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what I said. That's what I said. Why uh, would guys? them do that?
So were, were there anything else that any of the people noticed at the wedding party? We saw, we saw a lot of elk. Elk? Elk. Because it's an active fire. Were they ghost elk? They were not ghost elk. Were they haunted elk? They might have been haunted. Okay. This is the haunted closet. This is, I think, a really good image that I captured because someone told me that this closet is haunted and if you go stand in it, then someone will play with your hair. But it's actually the iron. And you can see it right here. The iron cord was hanging down and and it just touched me in the head. So it wasn't. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Maybe it goes too. And I know that it wasn't because after the wedding and everyone had gone home, I went in this closet and I stood there for two seconds and I thought about a ghost and nothing happened. So a ghost didn't talk to you, so it must not be Rita. That's right. Because everybody loves Rita. If somebody doesn't talk to Rita, they must not exist. I thought everybody liked me. Because <laughs> this one likes me. It knows what's up. Pretty sure that was Jaden with a sharpie. Can't see her anymore. This unicorn is chomping on a person. Do you do you remember a unicorn running around in front of you saying, "Hey, I'm a unicorn. I'm a killer <laughs> unicorn." No, but <coughs> there were elks running around. How about do you perhaps remember Pac-Man trying to eat a ghost at your feet? No. But I had stayed up the whole night because I was afraid of ghosts that didn't exist. Yeah, fair enough. There were no ghosts in the bathroom, apparently. Because <laughs> I wasn't in there. <laughs> <laughs> real, real sulfur scent, but I come out of there, you know what I mean? <laughs> we can cut it out. We have to cut it out. <laughs> I'm the director. It's Robbie P.I., not Aurora P.U. Hey! Okay. <laughs>